I would like to still stay in India, if I may say so, in such an audience, and to pass the floor to Dr. Kumar, who will have a review on natural hazards and disaster management in certain regions. Uh, hello, Dr. Kumar here. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah. So the, uh, am I audible? The, uh, the, the floor is yours. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Do, do you have your presentation? It's free. Yeah, 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 ma'am. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you, sir, so much. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am unable to share my screen. I'm trying. No, we have your screen, but not presentation. Probably this is your uh, screen on, on the computer, but, but not the presentation. May I start without my PPT or you have my PPT, then you please share my PPT. You please start with your PPT. You just open your PPT file. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes. okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. May I start? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good evening, one and all, uh, respected chair, co-chair, and uh, uh, fellow participants. Uh, myself, Dr. Ajay your, Kumar. Your, your video is not working. Please click your video. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure, sir, sure, sir. Uh, now, is it working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is Dr. Ajay Kumar from India. I'm uh, uh, an assistant professor in the Department of Higher Education Government of Himachal Pradesh, India. And uh, the topic of my presentation is uh, natural hazards and disaster management in Himachal Pradesh. You know, disasters and human survival has a long history of rivalry and coexistence. However, the occurrences were not as frequent and with fanatic regularities as it are now. The impact of disasters on economic well-being and human suffering has increasing alarmingly. Disasters not only disrupt human life, but also play havoc on lives and livelihood of the people. Please Have screen hazards. share. Please screen share your. Uh, I am. I am still waiting for from you side. Your, your side, please. Uh, no, no. Share yeah, my... We we said that you start your PPT in your computer. You please start your PPT there. Actually, I am unable to share my screen, so that oh. I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, then yeah, yeah. either you do or or you just wait for one minute. We will. Open. I will. I will. I will wait, sir. Okay. Um, you you still try to screen share? I think Dr. Hasrat is trying to share my screen. That's, okay. I, I will continue until or unless the screen will appear. And natural and man-made disasters often result in loss of uh, you know lives, cause injuries to people, and uh, leads to loss of livelihoods and damage and destruction of property, assets, and infrastructures. Disasters worsen the risk and exposure of vulnerable communities and lead to psychosocial stress and trauma among the disaster affected communities. In the case of recurring disasters like floods, the disaster prone communities often become victim of a crisis of confidence as their coping strategies are often overwhelmed, survival threatened and normal life adversely affected for survival, uh, sorry, uh, for several months Repeatedly, children, infants, the elderly, and the physically or mentally challenged people become more vulnerable to neglect and deprivation in the event of sudden outbreak of disasters, especially when the displaced community are forced to stay in temporary relief camps. Each year, you know, each year, natural disasters result in thousands of deaths, injuries, and loss of property, infrastructure, and assets 
causing substantial economic losses. It is estimated by the World Bank that the annual cost of damage caused by disasters vary from 2 to 15% of the gross domestic product of the affected countries. Now come to our state or our nation. Here we have <clears throat> disaster response mechanism and various stakeholders. Here in India, we have Controlled Disaster Management Act, which focuses on formulation of disaster management policy and formation of state disaster management authority, SDMA. Here we have the members in the district, district administration, deputy commissioner at district level, at block level, we have BDOs and other officers from health department, veterinary departments, water and irrigation departments, sanitation, police, file services, national and international, which are working for the welfare of these affected people. When we talk about the system and procedure for disaster management, I would like to tell you all that India become the first country to declare a national commitment to set up appropriate mechanism for the establishment of <clears throat> the Disaster Management Act 2005 and we says the establishment of the National Disaster Management Authority NDMA chaired by Prime Minister of India. In the state, we have state disaster management authorities chaired by the Chief Minister of the respective states. And then we talk about the district levels. We have district level or district management authorities, which was chaired by the district collector or Jila Parishad chairperson, oblique co-chairperson. Now come to the natural disasters which were occurring in Himachal Pradesh. The, <clears throat> sorry, landslides and flash floods are the most common disasters in Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has been hit by a series of massive natural calamities like earthquake, landslides, cloud bursts. The unplanned construction of hydro power projects, roads, and large scale mining in the state caused certain disasters in Himachal Pradesh. Now, come to the detail of the incidences of natural disasters in Himachal Pradesh. In the year of 1905, we have a major earthquake in District Angra of Himachal Pradesh, which reported loss to property rupees 20 billion, and a figure of death is placed 20,000 people. Kinaur earthquake in the, in the year of 1975 resulted in loss of lives as well as property. Kangara earthquake 1986, we lost six human lives and property. In the year of 2004, we observed another uh, earthquake in district Kangara of Himachal Pradesh. There is no loss of human life, but cracks in many houses reported. In the year 2000, we have observed a major, or uh, you can say, <clears throat> heavy rainfall, and we lost 35 human lives and 1,411 cattle head. In the year of 2001, we lost 45 human lives. In the year 2005, we lost four human lives. In the year 2006, we lost 48 human lives. In the year of 2007, we lost you know, 98 human lives. And in the year of 2021, we lost 12 human lives and 381 cattle heads. These are the major incidences of natural disasters in Himachal Pradesh. Now come to flash floods in Himachal Pradesh. A natural calamity is of gigantic magnitude struck the Satluj Valley on the intervening night on 31st July 2020. According to preliminary <clears throat> estimate, the damage has been estimated at about rupees 14.6626 billion. It has led to damage about 200 kilometers of road length, 20 bridges, and 22 jhulas. Now come to flash floods in Rasatuluj River during rainy season of the year 2005, a natural calamity of gigantic <clears throat> magnitude due to sudden rise or breach of Parshu River in the Chinese territory struck the Satluj River on dated 26 June 2005. It led to extensive damage to about 350 kilometers of road length from Samudho to Gobind Sagar Lake, which is near Bhakra Dam. A total loss of 6.86 billion rupees. What we have lost in this flood, you know, we have lost 10 bridges, 11 roadways, 15 motorable roads, 8 jeepable roads, and other foot bridges. 10 kilometer road between Bangtu and Samdo, electrical lines, poles, 
water supply schemes and sewerage system generation in power project has also been affected by this rainy season in the year 2005. Cloud brush in Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has been facing widespread and extensive damages almost every year because of hazard and natural disasters. In the year 1988, we lost 32 people in cloud burst. In the year 1994, we lost 50 people. In the year 1997, we lost 300 people. In the year 2003, we lost 170 people. In the year 2004, we lost 22 laborers. In the year 2005, we lost 40 cattle. In the year 2014, we lost 31 people. And in 2021, we lost 12 people and 12 people are still missing. What are the major initiatives in Himachal Pradesh? I would like to talk about these initiatives. Several initiatives have been taken in the state towards, towards minimizing the risk and losses to the disasters. The state government of Himachal Pradesh has its own code, relief code. Now come to the critical issues, lack of preparedness and awareness for disaster mitigation and management, lack of well-framed disaster management policy, lack of coordination in rescue and relief efforts, over exploitation of natural resources and sensitive and difficult geophysical situ situation, inadequate information and communication infrastructure. Now conclusion and suggestions. We, I have recommended some immediate measure and some long-term measures. In short-term measures, restructuring the Department of Relief into Department of Disaster Mitigation. Implementation of Disaster Management Act. Panchayat oblique bar level disaster management teams and plan should be prepared. Conducting mock drills. Training of rural masons, engineers and architect. <clears throat> promotion of general insurance for housing and household articles, establishment of control room and equipment of the same, state oblique district emergency communication network should be strong, early warning system should be prepared, creation of disaster mitigation groups should be created, long-term measures, Incorporation of disaster education in the school syllabus, incorporation of BIS codes in the building <clears throat> bylaws, implementation of TCP Act, Town and Country Plan Act, and areas through PRIs, Panchayatiras institutions, land use regulations and zoning, incorporation of disaster management in training curriculum of premier services of the state, strengthening of fire services at the division level, and provision of life vendors. Enactment of State Disaster Management Act. Disaster Management Code has to be in place. Specialist response terms, GIS-based state disaster resource network, and in last, incorporation of disaster mitigation into all other development process. Thank you, thank you one and all. Thank you, Dr. Kumar, for your speech. Unfortunately, the, pre the, the presentation didn't, didn't work, but it was really very sad to hear the uh, sad case uh, of, uh, the, of the region who faces huge losses of life and property during the quite long period of time and due to some natural disasters and floods uh, in, in, in the uh, region. Um, I, I really appreciate you are focusing on the management uh, measures that should be taken to foresee or to get prepared to some uh, potential disasters. And in my country, we call it disaster management uh, that, that takes uh, two components of get ready to potential disaster and to come uh, through quite smoothly while it happens. Thank you, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much for your speech. And